Hello everyone, welcome to GS Core. So in our series of daily current affairs through MCQ, we'll be seeing MCQs based on today's current affairs, right? So let us go through the list of topics uh, that we are going to cover through the MCQs. So it is about indigenous fast breeder reactor. The Prime Minister Modi is going to uh, witness the loading of core, right? WTO has been in news and there are quite a few news pieces which are coming up. Also, it has been in news because of the farmers, right? And the whole issue of the farm subsidy and uh, the WTO agenda is gaining the ground also thailand has raised concerns on india's farm subsidy during the recent wto meet the issue of state borrowings uh, the interest free loans which are given by uh, the center to the states uh, has been in focus because of the Kerala government's petition in the Supreme Court. Also, if you look at the Apple's PQ3, uh, which is a post quantum cryptographic protocol that is in the news and the terminology gray zone warfare. Well, the grey zone warfare has been around for quite a while now, right? Uh, but uh, recently, during the uh, recently held uh, Raisina dialogue, the CDS actually mentioned about the grey zone warfare. So, we'll look at that angle as well. So, let us quickly get on to the very first question, which is based on indigenous fast breeder reactor. So, if you look at the news uh, which made the question possible is about the loading of core of the fast breeder reactor, the indigenous fast breeder reactor uh, by the, the agency Bhartiya Nabikiya Vidyut Nigam Limited that is the Bhavini, right? So that is going to happen. Now, let us look at the skills, approach and the concept. So if you look at the concept, the nuclear energy, right? The kind of reactors, okay? Uh, whether we talk about the pressurized heavy water reactors, right, or the fast breeder reactors or the thorium based reactors. So, these are the emerging, you know, these are the emerging as well as the present technologies that are there. So, the concept should be very, very clear. If we look at the approach and the skills that are needed, it is essentially the recall which is needed and the concept to application linkage that is critical. So, while approaching these kind of questions, one should be able to utilize the recall and the concept and able to link. For example, if you look at the first statement, it produces more fuel than it consumes. Okay, so this is clearly the application which is based on a particular concept. So, you cannot identify the statement whether it is correct or incorrect till you do this, right? If you look at the format of the question, the format is very traditional and hence we can use elimination here to a certain extent. Now, let us read the question. Consider the following statements about the fast breeder reactors. It produces more fuel then it consumes, okay, that is correct. 
that is correct they produce more fissile material such as plutonium which is further used as a fuel in nuclear reactors okay so if the first statement is correct right i can easily eliminate option b and d now whole thing hinges on the fact that whether the second statement is correct or not and we have to find the correct state india's prototype fast beater reactor is developed by bhavini which would produce 40 megawatt of power okay well this is incorrect on the current affairs knowledge so an essential skill that is fact rather it would be 500 megawatt and on that very tiny ground this statement is incorrect therefore the option to mark is option a if you look at the questions like these you can well this was about the reactor you can have the launch vehicles you know instead of this their weight category can be asked their ability whether they are in the geosynchronous orbit or the polar orbit these things can be asked okay so things like that do get asked moving on to the next question consider the following statements regarding the wto agreement on agriculture so the uh, you know news i was talking about was the thailand raising concerns about uh, indian farm subsidies at the recent wto meet okay so the concept skills and the approach if you look at the concept wto along with it the current affairs because the question might allude to this this or this right the skills again recall application correlation that is needed why because if you look at the format of this question it is the statement one explains statement two kind of a format so the correlation aspect is very essential so the approach should be that first we should identify the correctness and then look at the correlation to clearly arrive at the solution now let us look at these statements the wto agreement on agriculture aims to promote fair competition in agricultural trade by reducing trade distorting subsidies and tariffs that is clear i mean that is clear to a layman the agreement sets out provisions for the protection of indigenous agricultural practices and biodiversity well if you look at this particular uh, you know aspects right ideally this is something where countries like india are struggling with wto right or putting up a brave front while the agreement touches upon multiple aspects of the agriculture it does not actually talk about the indigenous agriculture practices and biodiversity why because see wto is a western led block and this will come in your conceptual orientation as well and the application orientation as well so this statement is incorrect once we have identified the correctness then our question is 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 solved at this instant only because if the second statement is incorrect we are only left with option d we are only left with option d to mark right when the first statement is correct and the second statement is incorrect then we are left with only option d to mark okay now coming to the next question again uh, about the state borrowings so if you look at the issue uh, in news uh, the 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 interest free loans and the kerala government going to the supreme court petitioning the supreme court now the concepts skills and approach so the concept center state relations 
and within that the financial relation. Remember, the question can be based on the conceptual plus current affairs plus the operational aspects. Like what does concept say, how does it operate and what is in current affairs. So, the skills which are needed is the retention, application, correlation and fact identification. So, with regards to questions like these and this is again statement 1, statement 2 format. So, the first thing is to identify the correctness and then linkage if any. So, let us look at the first statement. If a state government does not have any outstanding loans or guarantees, it can borrow outside of India subject to the consent of the central government. No, this is not correct. The state governments cannot borrow, right? If you look at the article and this will come as part of the concept. If you look at the article 292. It limits the union government's power to borrow by allowing parliament to impose limits on such borrowings by law, by law. So, the moment we have made the first statement or identified the first statement as incorrect, easily option A, B, D are eliminated. Easily option A, B, D are eliminated. Therefore, the answer is option C, but never jump the gun. Always read the statement. Article 293 sub clause 4 of the constitution state that the consent may be granted subject to such conditions as the government of India may think fit to impose. This statement is correct. This statement is correct. Okay. So, if you look at the article 293 sub clause 4, it talks about this, okay. It is not based on if it has any outstanding loan or guarantees, it can borrow outside of India subject to. In general terms also, it can do it provided the government of India under article 293 sub clause 4 permits that. So, hence we identified the correct option C regarding the constitutional provisions, whether it is fundamental right, fiscal relations between the or the financial relations, the judicial aspect, the powers of governor, president, such questions can be asked in these statement 1 explains statement 2 kind of a format. Moving further to the next question. Consider the following statements regarding post quantum cryptography. So, the concept, approach, skill. And if you look at the news, it was about the Apple announcing a post quantum cryptographic protocol to encrypt. It is a cryptographic protocol. So, idea is to encrypt the I message. Okay. So, it claims that it reaches level 3 of the security and uh, can defend the highly sophisticated quantum attacks. So, if you look at the concept, the tools and techniques and technology of fourth industrial revolution, whether it is artificial intelligence, quantum computing, cryptography, blockchain, right. All these things are gaining momentum. So, the conceptual coverage is essential. The skill which is needed is identification. If you know what cryptography is, then only you can, you can handle such a question. And what does quantum theory mean? Then the recall and as in science, it is always there. The application aspect, right? And then linking it. So, while approaching such a question and we need to find the correct ones and if you look at the format, the format is vague. It talks about how many, not which. 
right so the concept it will weigh heavy on concept okay because the nature of the topic under discussion is such that you know the applications and the concepts are the only two things which is there so linking them is essential so while approaching such a question every statement every keyword matters right so look at the keywords and then take a call so let us read the questions consider the following statements regarding post quantum cryptography similarly other things can be asked right like i mentioned all of these things can be asked as well first statement post quantum cryptography primarily refers to cryptographic algorithms that are resistant to attacks from quantum computers that is correct that is the idea of the post quantum and the concept will weigh in here second statement one of the key motivations for post quantum cryptography is the need to protect public key encryption systems from potential vulnerabilities posed by quantum computers that is correct that is correct indeed next now the cryptography techniques it is talking about hash based hash based cryptography relies on solving complex mathematical problems related to factorization or discrete logarithms okay it does not rather primarily rely on solving uh, complex mathematical problems related to factorization or discrete logarithms instead it is based on ots one time signature so the underlying principle of the cryptography should be known and therefore this statement is incorrect again on concept what is cryptography types of cryptography essential features of these types okay so out of three two statements are correct therefore the option to mark would be option b option b moving further to the next and the last question consider the following statements regarding the gray zone warfare so the news was about the cds mentioning about the gray zone warfare right the skills approach and the concept if you look at the concept there are terms in news so you should follow them and their meaning plus linkage where with a core subject so if i look at this this is linking with the security right obviously you will have internal security as well as international relations right angle associated with it now the skills which are needed is the recall retention and application and to approach this question nothing but the concept and the news is something which is important generally it is about what and the factual aspects therefore retention is critical if you look at the format it is the traditional format therefore elimination can be used also the gray zone warfare blue warfare cyber warfare space warfare such terminologies uh, are there in the news time and again so let us look at the statements activities such as malicious economic activities influence operations and cyber attacks mercenary operations assassinations and disinformation campaigns constitute gray zone warfare that is correct that is correct influence operations are also called as morale ops gray zone conflict is sometimes also termed as hybrid warfare no that is not correct that is not correct hybrid warfare involves the conventional military tactics with unconventional method okay proxy forces to achieve strategic objective cyber warfare those are the form of the hybrid warfare so this statement is incorrect so we have the first statement as correct second statement as incorrect therefore the option to mark is option a option a so well i hope that these questions 
the skills required, the approach and the identification of underlying concepts will help you prepare better for the preliminary examination. You can find all these news information uh, in our daily current affairs magazine called ThinkQ, right? For which download link is available in the description. All the best and thank you.